over in our advanced tools, I'll show you some of the most useful things we can do. The first is to invert the image, which can be useful if you're looking at a bone that has some metal around it. Here we have the image processing sliders. This lets you change the look of the image. Apply any that you feel and then exit out. If you find that you always prefer images with this configuration, for example, you can save this as a default. This is processing adjustment. Processing adjustment lets you change the algorithm applied to the image. If, for example, we had put this through as a dog abdomen, when actually it's a leg, we can now change it to a leg. This will apply the stifle algorithm. You can also right click on the thumbnail and change the view. Here you can use the ruler to make a measurement. Click and click with the left mouse. You can move the measurement to make it easier to see or you can put it in the bin if you don't want it. This lets you draw an angle, click, click with the left mouse and click again for your angle. I'm going to delete these. Click and delete. Hip dysplasia is a particularly useful tool, as is vertebral heart score for small animal. You get instructions on what to do. We're going to pretend I have a heart here. I'm going to place my first point, my second point, third, move this point to the correct area, measure T4, and it will give you a vertebral heart score. You can also calibrate your image. If you have a ball bearing of a known size, you can measure it, input the size, and apply it so that any further measurements you do will be real measurements. After you've made all of your changes, accept or reject your image. If you reject the image, you will be asked why. This is a good, useful thing to do so that you can monitor why you're rejecting images. I'm gonna cancel out of this. Instead, I'm gonna accept the image. I've made some measurements here and they're going to remain on the image because I accept it after these measurements are on here. If I'd accepted my image before making these measurements, then it would just be the image that's saved. Only accepted images can be exported.